After a year of overlanding, we learned we are not always comfortable. We are uncomfortable at wild camping and unconfident in our off-road skills. Our Land Rover is finished. We have the dream. The coming three weeks traveling to Europe's ultimate off-road and overland destination will tell if we are up for the real deal in the future. This is Louis and the Rover, Destination Balkans. It is early September and it all started again with a long drive on the German Autobahn. Till now, this will be our longest overland trip with Louis. We are excited to see if he can adapt to this lifestyle. We set up camp in the beautiful German Alps, where we got addicted to a Monopoly card game. After 1600 kilometers and a lot of border crossings, we arrived at our first destination. The mountains of Bosnia and Herzegovina. After all that driving, Louis deserved some time outside of the rover. An easy pista with gravel but not too many big rocks brought us higher into the mountains. Driving this route in the middle of nowhere slowly made us forget about our life at home. Disconnecting from work. We started the pista late that day, and it was getting dark fast. Patrick went ahead of us to find a good spot to camp in the wild. Louis was afraid that he would get left behind. This is what we wanted. Beautiful scenery, the sounds of nature, in the middle of nowhere, in a culture unknown to us. But, as we said, we want to get more comfortable with wild camping. And when we say we, we also mean Louis, who is still reacting to all kinds of sounds. So we got a short night's sleep, but this allowed us to enjoy the morning spectacle. So this was our first night in the mountains of the Balkan and from here our big adventure will start and we want to show you the route we will take the upcoming three weeks. At the moment we are here in the mountains of Bosnia and Herzegovina and we'll drive through Montenegro to Albania where three really challenging off-road routes are waiting for us. So we hope we will complete them and after that we will drive down to the coast and all the way back to Holland. From the mountains of Bosnia, we drove further into the peaks of the Balkans, Biogradska Gora, Montenegro. A steep road with sharp turns and loads of hairpin bends brought us to 2200 meters.
Despite our discomfort with wild camping, we could fully appreciate what makes it spectacular. It's the combination of feeling a little scared, but also excited. To be somewhere unique, not overcrowded campsites where your view is blocked by a white camper. An experience only for you. We searched for the spot with the best view. And I think that is what we found, making us forget about all our worries. Maybe with a little more experience, we can get comfortable with this loneliness and get used to the sound of silence. The next morning, we got stuck in a local mountain traffic jam. Luckily, Patrick is a trained horse whisperer, so it only took 20 minutes. We hiked all morning, enjoying the fresh mountain air and made a short stop at the Albanian coast. This gave Louis the time to process all his recent adventures before he had to get back to his content creation work. After driving for two days, we arrived at the border with North Macedonia. Sometimes while driving pistas, Louis was the hardest obstacle. We passed an ancient peak. The pistas here got harder and harder, but would eventually bring us to paradise. It's hard to get a good perspective, but a big mud hole was blocking our way. And for the first time, our skills were tested. Patrick wanted to use the max tracks as a safety. He had no idea why, but found out this was not the smartest way to attach them. We went for the easy side and avoided the deepest mud pool. Louis was struggling with himself, deciding whether or not he should jump into the soft and stinky mud. That went pretty easy. There we go. The following morning, we continued our journey. It took hours to complete this road, more than we expected.
The mud and rocks made it technical, but our new tires and suspension helped us. We arrived in paradise, with scratches on our car and confidence in our minds. For a few days, we tried to do as little as possible. Every now and then, we said the magic word, swimming. And a little monster would crawl out of his hole, knew exactly where to go, to dive into his favorite passion. We underestimated the time we needed to adjust and get into the rhythm and groove of traveling. After these few days of doing nothing, we could fully enjoy all the elements of traveling again. We went to a car wash to try to get all the mud and salt off of our car. But to tell you the truth, the car didn't really get any cleaner. A local passionate 4x4 driver and camp owner advised us on our route. His advice was to cross in and out of Kosovo towards the north of Albania for one of the most beautiful passes in the Balkans. It was hard to get to this area, some long drives on local mountain roads, but they surprised us with the best restaurants. On this trip, we enjoyed so many fresh fruits and veggies, tomatoes so full of taste and figs so sweet, like eating jam. And after a few days, we were there, not really knowing what to expect, but we got epicness. One of the most beautiful and scenic pistas we have done until now. We drove to the highest point, but also had to go down a steep decline. I was behind the steering wheel and this was really challenging for me. I asked Patrick multiple times for advice, but he was too busy flying his drone. The pass went from steep climbs to descents. And it brought us to the border, with Albania to our left and Montenegro to our right. It was for the first time. Patrick slept in Montenegro and I in Albania. 
It was a quiet and a relaxing experience. We woke up early in the morning and looked at all the peaks of the Balkans. It got a bit harder. We were challenged with some steep and soft climbs. But we learned that you need to take your time and try. And sometimes restart the motor. After two days, we reached the other side of the pass. Oh, actually we almost forgot something. The weather changed quickly. Heavy rain and thunderstorms would stay for multiple days. And it seems even Louis is not enjoying this. We learned what an advantage it is to have a home on wheels. So in a short time, we adjusted our plans and searched for good weather. And we found it along the coast of Croatia. We met a young German couple living their dream overland trip. We talked all night about our shared passion. And meanwhile, a new spectacle took place. During this adventure, we made one big mistake. We planned too many kilometers and underestimated the time with the distances we had to cover. We feel we've spent too many hours on the road. In our last days, I wanted to go hiking in Triglav National Park in Slovenia. We did a tough and steep hike from 800 meters altitude to 2100 meters. I didn't inform Patrick, so here you see a hangry person. And then eating his most awful and delicious sausage of all time. It made him normal again. And Louis just enjoyed it all. At the end of our adventure, we could finally make some conclusions. Nowhere have we had any problems with Louis. Louis gets used to the life on the road faster than we do. We planned way too many kilometers for the time we had, and we need a few days at the beginning of our trip to get out of work mode. During this trip, we got confident enough with our Land Rover, off-roading, 
and especially wild camping. We even got a bit used to it. So it was here when we decided, we will do this. We will go on a big adventure in April. And Louis has no choice other than coming with us. He is the star of our show. <laughs>